what's up wild people welcome back to the channel if you're new i'm alexandria denise and this is an update on my three sisters garden as you can see how big the corn has gotten looking nice lush and green uh, have you seen the last update i went ahead and uh, replenished the band there or the flower bed with a lot more nutrients so this is the second half to the first it's about to pour down rain here so i'm trying to make it uh spiffy but um yeah it's looking pretty good here and I got some compost today. I was gonna lay it out before the rain, but it looks like it might be a little too late, but I'm also going to go ahead and plant uh, the beans before it rains too hard right next to the corn. So at least the beans can go ahead and take, and then I'll come back later and uh, pour the compost over it. All right, so I went ahead and put two on either side, basically just direct sowed put it inside um, just kind of pushed it into the soil a little bit on both ends of the corn I did that for each one except for the small one back there in the middle there it's not tall enough to support but the rest of them it should be fine the beans help fix nitrogen in the soil and uh, the corn is going to support the beans as it crawls it climbs up the corn I won't plant the squash um, in there until like maybe another two weeks or so direct sow it also I just went ahead and direct sow this like as is I didn't soak with compost um, this time I don't even think I did it last time maybe I should have maybe the results will be faster and bigger like much better because the last ones that I had they uh, didn't do too much but they are coming up slowly and surely these gives me about 62 days to harvest too so uh, in another two months or whatnot, they should be pretty good. Roughly around the time I should be harvesting the corn and the squash. So hopefully I have a good harvest all together. But uh, it's about to pour down here. Don't exactly have a lot of time to uh, put the compost in because I wanted to mulch as well. I literally just got back and I don't want to be caught in the middle of it. But uh, it's going to rain all week. So yeah I'll end up getting to it eventually okay actually I went ahead and changed my mind I was like all right I'm gonna go ahead and do this because I really do want this to uh, start seeping in and uh, you know getting the nutrients into the soil there so I just went ahead and poured it usually I like to screen my soil and get all the big pieces out so all the smaller clumps and so on um, it's just left so that's why I was gonna wait until another day to do it but I just said oh what the hey so I went ahead and took some of the bigger pieces out, threw them over there, and just poured the rest over here. Might go through and thin through some more big pieces, but as long as the corn is getting its needed nutrients so it can continue to grow nice and healthy, strong, you know, that's, what, that's all I want. And all this good rain here really allows it to catch. I just hope that I can still that the beans can still get good uh, sunlight after piling on this compost and then burying it a little deep in just hope that you know that didn't hinder its ability to get the sunlight it needs to grow but pretty sure it'll be fine so later this week I plan to uh, put some fish emulsion or make some fish fertilizer to pour in so that way it can give the beans a good head start as well as um, continue the corn so I'm very proud that this has worked out the way it has I really wanted the corn to get a good uh, root going and it looks like it has because last time like I said if you watched my other videos the uh, squash just totally dominated this space here so I'm really trying to give the corn time to establish itself and it's looking very nice and healthy I love it so continuing on see what I do for Friday or later this week giving it the fish emulsion and we'll see how it turns out in the next week or so